Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some more European Universal 4 in our Baltic Crusader campaign as a Teutonic Order. So, we're waiting for some sieges and stuff right now. We need to take back some stuff. Poland and Lithuania and Brandenburg are picking um, my buttons. They're picking fights with me, and it's pissing me off. Let's go and start sieging down some stuff. We've actually lost a few a few forts to the enemy. Make me really mad. Uh, the Brandenburgians have moved on to Vilna. Hopefully they don't take it. Come on, get a disease outbreak. Oh, they got a wall breach instead. Man. This random number generator bullshit. We're on speed four still. Let's go ahead and go to force march. Let's go ahead and march over there and kick some ass. Show them how we do it. The fort... The, what is with the zone of controls here? I should have been able to march. It just told me that I can march a path here, and then it told me to go all the way around. Uh, That's... No, I occupied this fort. This is good for us. That's a minus one for the enemy. Damn, look at that Prussian morale. 5.6, 2.2 military tactics, 113% discipline. Oh, that's really high. What are they going to go to? Morale? No, they might actually probably go somewhere else. I'd be I'd be surprised if they went to Turov. Wow, we're still not going to retake Hamburg anytime this millennium. Yeah, screw you, Hungary. I mean, they're my ally, but still. <laughs> um, what is up with Hungary, actually? They actually want some of the same land that I do. Very curious. Fine, dude, if you don't want me as an ally, you can suck it. Brandenburg wants out. Get the hell out of here, Brandenburg. Okay, I'm taking all this. And possibly Kovno. And some more reps. Maybe humiliate. Do I want Polish territory? I do, but this is a lot. This is like 20, 20 development, 29. This is Protestant anyway. How much is it to take this? Uh, I think I might just stick with some Lithuanian territory here for now in this war. I think we'll, have to, we'll go after Poland sometime in the future. Hmm. Yeah, Hungary broke their alliance with us. Screw you, man. Bring it on. You want to go to war? Let's do it. I'll get my boots ready. Okay, we're going to be taking some tech here in just a bit. We're going to be done with religious, hopefully. Pretty soon. We don't need any devotion for now. We have a 334 in the throne. Maximilian Franz, the first Rubisman. Uh, do we have any disloyal estates, the burghers, or the nobility? I'm leaning towards nobility. I had to revoke all of their damn land. So let's go ahead and try and make them loyal here. I think a local noble... Uh, or a foreign noble... Let's go for a local noble, I suppose. A 2-2-1. Ooh, that was a bad idea. We just took a loan here. And let's go and give the nobility some land. Preferably stuff with high base tax, or um, high manpower. Uh, yep, stop. Um, Slesvig's not too bad. How about Dorpat? How about Letgolan? How about Matau? How about a cell? What's up with Podlakian? No stats there. Uh, Visna? Yeah, sure. Okay, they only want 10%, so that's fine with me. I'm gonna go ahead and just give them a little, a few small provinces. Yeah, we need to end this war, guys. We've been, we've been fighting a little too long here. In fact, even taking this, this isn't gonna be enough. I'm not gonna have enough war score with Hamburg and, uh, and this little province here siege down. I probably won't have enough. Austria declared war in Switzerland with the cleansing of heresy, cast this bully. Yeah, so Lencia, Podlakian, and Hamburg, that's all worth 19 war score. Wow. And the war goal was for... I, I declared the war goal for Braslau? Oh, that's probably why I don't have the war score I need. I don't even occupy the war goal yet. Well, that makes sense. 
That makes sense. It does. It does. Let's go and engage over here. We just took back Hamburg. Let's take Breslau. Expand the Mercs. Make some positive cash, hopefully. Uh, who's going to occupy it first? Ooh. Give me all this. Possibly Breslau. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go for this. Huge expansion of territory. Some like World War II shit. Uh, know your treaties. 71% overextension. Damn. Yeah, we lost 100,000 fighting that war. Okay, our country is in shambles. 7.6 war exhaustion. Let's check out this in rest here. Let's actually go ahead and raise the autonomy of most of this. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad stuff. <laughs> uh, let's go keep some points. Let's keep some points available. Yeah, that was gross, man. That was a gross war. I don't know if I handled that not well or what happened. Let's go and rival Lithuania back. Support of independence from Sweden. I don't know if an independent Sweden is necessarily within my favor. Uh, possibly. Yeah, I mean, they're Catholic. They dislike Russia. However, Sweden usually desires Russian territory themselves, and I need everything. I need all of it. I need all of Russia. So, an expansionist Sweden is not, I think, within my interest. We disbanded all the mercs. I don't have any mercs right now. Damn, look at that. We're huge. I remember when playing the Teutonic Order was, like, really hard. <laughs> Money, please. Thank you. Before we core anything else, let's go ahead and wait for that war exhaustion to come down. Manpower reserves need to recover. I do humbly agree. So yeah, definitely I think our next idea group is probably going to have to be... Um, yeah, probably aristocratic or something. And devotion or theology, I'm going to go ahead and go for the devotion. Uh, offensive is nice, too. Offensive is cool. Recruitment time, land, lead, um, leader, land, fire. Let's see, prestige from land battles. Siege ability plus 20%. That force limit, the discipline. Quantity is always nice, too. Land maintenance modifier, the regiment costs, manpower. Uh, we have unrest here. We have Teutonic Particularists. Are you serious? 37,000 men are going to rise up. Wow. Let's go and grab Monopoly Charters. 62.4 army tradition. Yeah, sure, why not? I could use a loyalty, I will admit. Let's go and raise the maintenance here, wherever these guys are going to rise up. I don't really know where. Uh, I don't have any manpower to reinforce them with anyway. Let's go and take the, um, the discipline. I guess we're paying some money for some loyalty. Lithuania is no longer a valid rival. What the hell? I can I can re-rival Lithuania over and over? <laughs> okay, I guess I'm just going to keep getting the Eclipsed Lithuania Power Projection modifier. Uh, we probably have some pretty serious unrest because of this overextension and the war exhaustion. Damn. Yeah, we're asking for rebels, aren't we? It might even be worth to spend some of the points that we have right now to, to lower down, but whatever. I like to be ahead on time. Let's see. William III says he misses the EU3 Titans. Uh, or not Titans, Teutons. <laughs> I, I didn't really play EU3. I got into I got into the Paradox Grand Strategy in EU4. Yeah. Actually, it's curious. I... I don't remember too much about the history of, of Paradox Interactive and me. Yeah, I never imagined that I'd be like making a YouTube channel based on their games and stuff. Let's see, rival of Russia, Hungary, or France. None of those seem very smart right now, so I think I'm going to hold off on it. Russia is probably the most likely guy that I'll pick as a rival, but I just don't think that's smart right now with how weak I am. I mean, our country is in shambles, man. We are... We are hurting. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's still pretty high. Look at that. Um, how much is it? How much is it additionally? Wow. Almost 16%, 17%. I'm trying to reduce some of this corruption right now. Okay. We make a lot from trade still. Baltic and Lubick are firmly within our control. Manpower is coming back. War exhaustion is still high. We can invest in new ideas. Uh, we're going to be capped out on admin, so let's go ahead and take this then. We need a lot of points to core everything, but we actually do have a lot available already. Let's go and take that military tech as well. We can go for chambered demi cannons. This is when artillery really gets good. Charge inventory are awesome. Uh, we might have to start moving towards fire though, because the infantry fire and the infantry shock have actually really kind of caught up with each other. Um, in fact, that's probably smart. Let's go ahead and move on to Maurician inventory. Well, I don't know, actually, because... Actually, yeah, I think Maurician inventory is the way to go. Money or stability? Gold is a sign of the nobility? Or nobility can't be bought. Let's go and go for the ability can't be bought. The manpower recovery speed is going to be nice. Let's go and take a tax hit. Uh, let's see what else are we up to. Any ideas that we can take? Admin? No, not right now. Because I need to core some stuff here. We'll be coring in just a minute. I'm waiting for this uh, war exhaustion to go away. 13.2% for 4.4 .4 war exhaustion. 13.2, 4.4, 12. So basically, um, your war exhaustion times three is how much you're paying additionally in cores. Unless they round it up. Do they round it up? 13 here, four point, yeah. 4.2, 4.8.12. I think they do a little bit of rounding, but I think that's about correct. We have 134 papal influence. Damn, son. I wonder if we're ever going to become the career controller. Curious. Let's go and take a look at the world. I want to see what happens around the world here. New Spain is very large. New Scotland is here in Florida. Hispaniola. New Spain is around here. English Colombia. Uh, Portuguese Brazil. No one's actually made it to Argentina yet, apparently. I thought that was Spain for a second. I was be like, damn. <laughs> Persia's huge. Look at that Persian Empire right there. The Ottomans have really been kind of... They haven't expanded as much as they historically really kind of do. By this year, 1600. Japan and the Yusugi, Korchin, Zhangjiao, Korea, Mongolia. The Ming plosion did happen. Wu, Qi, Chu, Ming's over here. Dali, Tibet. What is with Tibet? Why are you so big, Tibet? No, man. No, man. It's not the way it's supposed to be. Chagatai is massive. Holy shit. They're huge. Wow. And then look at us. We're massive. We could be seen from space. <laughs> Probably, actually. Uh, let's take a look here. I mean, literally, we own, like, what? One-third of Western Europe, probably? One-fourth? One-fifth, maybe? Yeah, I don't know who we're gonna rival. Probably Russia. Probably Russia. Poland. We've got some expansion with you. Definitely with Lithuania, though. Yeah, so we'll have to balance the alliances out between these two guys. Uh, Matthias II of Austria is a new emperor. There's still no league war. Hmm. Huh. We're waiting for it. It's going to be 1600 here pretty soon. We're going to get a new institution. It's going to be the uh, Global Trade Institution. Hopefully we get some good stuff because we do control Lubick and the Baltic. I'd be surprised if we didn't get it. Kind of. Then again, it's global trade though. I think it has a modifier to sprout up in uh, the new world. So. But I'm not certain. Uh, I don't think I can upgrade anything. Nope, not right now. 
We're making some decent money with no maintenance. However, we're not really at a high force limit, so... I'm not exactly confident in our income right now. Let's see here. National tax modifier sounds good. Eruption of Huaya Patina. February 1600, the Peruvian volcano known as Huaya Patina erupted in a massive explosion. Great power of Hungary has forced the Knights to break their alliance with Lithuania. Scotland is apparently everybody's friend. It's curious. Hungary declared war in Lithuania. They say conquest. Are you serious, man? Damn you, Hungary. What are you trying to go after now? As long as he doesn't take any Crimean territory, I'm good. Let's see here. Twitch chat lets me know that global trade spawns in the trade node with the highest number of ducats. So let's take a look here. So I guess we go to total. Hey, it'd be Lubick. Kick ass. And who controls Lubick? I do. Bengals are close second though. So is Genoa. Very curious. So we should get it. Theoretically. The highest number of ducats. Buckets of ducats. Let's see, core creation cost here. Unrest is gone. Let's go ahead and start coring stuff. We actually still have a crap ton of points, so that's nice. It was really good that we waited. We kind of just were patient for a while. Um, We really don't make any... Oh, oh that's right. Yeah, we're at full army maintenance, aren't we? Now we can lower maintenance. Now we can trade up some troops. I should not have any mercs whatsoever, right? So we have 8 units of cavalry, 12 artillery. It's really just inventory that we need. So I think we'll just build 10 at a time. Damn you, Hungary. I'm going to have to warn his ass or something. We're going to have to go to war with this guy. He's allied with England, Moldavia, and Genoa, which actually does not concern me that much. Those numbers are not too concerning to me. Let's go to improve relations with, I think, Spain and Austria. <clears throat> Those are going to be my two principal allies probably for the rest of the game. Hungary is actually, at this point, probably a target. Um, although, I'd, I'd love to rival Russia if I, if I can help it. Probably soon. Sometime soon. Come on, institution. 1601. Make it happen. Sweden was rebellious. They're not anymore. Maybe I should have made them independent. Who knows? A weak Denmark is a stronger me, right? Except for Norway. An independent Norway, I don't think, is making anybody better off. <laughs> Let's go for religious traditions, yearly prestige, plus one. We also get an additional missionary. So we have five missionaries and 13.5 missionary strength. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy crap. <clears throat> Lithuania will see Volhynia and round to Hungary. All right. You say so. I'm coming for you, man. Your ass is mine, man. Uh, this fort maintenance and fort defense is going to help us out with the defense mentality. Hey, there we go. Global trade. 100 of each monarch power? Holy crap. 20 prestige. Local trade power. Hamburg begets global trade hub until 1821. Local trade power plus 10%. Damn. It rose up in Hamburg, man. Super strong. Let's go and take influence. Establish cadet branches. Yeah, that doesn't help us out that much. The, uh, the fort maintenance and fort defense is awesome. We're going to be capped down on points here pretty soon. One state, one religion. We're going to finish all our ideas, I mean. That's what I mean. Institution spread plus 10% for our Teutonic ideas is also going to be very nice. So, where's this institution? Right here in Hamburg, huh? Well, aren't you freaking awesome, Hamburg? Look at that. Spread plus 50%. Damn. Looks like Holstein's going to get it. Holstein, Port 
It's globaling province with global trade. Adjacent has global trade and loyal burgers. Awesome. Can I embrace it? No, probably not for a while. I'll have to be patient. We're doing final tech though, so I am not concerned. Good morning, Foxy Light. Morning to you, sir. Yes, it is. It is early morning for me too. I should probably be in bed by now. <laughs> well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break here. I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Thanks so much.